Afternoon, thanks for joining us today at 4. I'm Gilbert Corsi. And I'm Fallon Glick. A plea agreement today for a woman who drove drunk and killed a married couple. WDRB's Darby Bean tells us she faced up to life in prison but could get out much sooner. With this plea deal, 32-year-old Alicia McFadden could be out of prison before she's 50. The victim's family hopes this situation serves as a lesson for others. Margaret and George Herbig were 76 and 82 years old. And my mom was just a very giving, loving person. They loved sports, especially UK, and spending time with their three kids and four grandkids. Everybody liked him. He always had a joke to tell. He always had a smile on his face. But on November 20th, 2021, at 5 p.m., on their way to get some pizza just down the road, they were killed in a deadly car crash at Westport Road and Ambridge Drive. It's a loss their family says has been unbearable. You know, people talk about the holidays and how hard they are, but quite honestly, it's the everyday. It's the everyday of not seeing them and talking to them and being around them. Their children sat in the courtroom Tuesday morning, working through not just the grief of losing both parents suddenly at once, but also working through the legal process that's unfolded. Commonwealth of Kentucky versus Alicia McFadden. Appearances for the record, please. Alicia McFadden walked in in a yellow jumpsuit and sat next to her attorney charged with murder and DUI for the crash. This court appearance was to accept a plea deal. McFadden pleaded guilty to an amended charge of manslaughter. Guilty or not guilty? Guilty. The Commonwealth is recommending a sentence of 16 years in prison. I think we're okay with that. I know we, we know that, you know, nothing's going to bring our parents back. And while nothing will bring back Margaret and George Herbig, their family hopes their story will make others think before getting behind the wheel. It's not any different than, than getting the gun and shooting somebody, getting in your car and drinking and driving, especially when you're speeding. So, you know, they didn't have a chance. McFadden's sentencing is scheduled for June 12th, and the Herbig family members do plan on speaking at that hearing. Reporting with photojournalist Dave White, Darby Bean, WDRP News. Darby, thank you.